Today we're going to be talking about how to create a starting view. Now whenever you open a Revit file, the default setting for the opening view is the last view active when the file is closed. For larger files, this can mean an extremely slow loading process. So to help overcome this, we create a starting view. If we go to our, over to our project browser, we can see that I already created a drafting view titled starting view. Let's take a look at that. So this is the view I want people to see when they first open the project. It makes for a much faster load and it gives a more professional appearance. Um, the reason I used a drafting view is because it's independent of the model. So to do that, all I did was I went to my view tab went to drafting view, gave it the title starting view, we'll call this one 2 because we already have a starting view, hit OK. From here I went to insert, image. So now that we don't need the starting view 2, we'll go ahead and delete it. So right now, this view is just another view in our project. We have to actually set it as the default starting view. So to do so, I go to my Manage tab, Starting View. This brings us to a dropdown of all the views within our project. As you'll see, we can make any view we'd like our starting view. But I'm going to go ahead and make our drafting view, starting view. Just hit OK. There we have it. So now every time someone opens this project, this is the view you'll, they'll see. This has been CAD Teacher VDCI Tips and Tricks. Thanks for watching.